Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Dying Light. Here we go, boys. You see that zombie-infested chaos out there? That's where we're going. Our current objective is to use the elevator to get down to the ground floor. We're officially becoming a runner, boys. Should be interesting. Here we go. I'm nervous, man. We're going outside. They're going to hook us up with some gear and... Man. All right. All right. Give me an actual job. And nobody suspects I'm not who I say I am. So far, so good. And once Dr. Zara helps me manage these symptoms I'm dealing with, I'll be even better. So we're a mole, man. We're kind of an inside job. We're trying to work our way up to, uh... Meeting the leader of the tower. To be able to do that, we've got to prove ourselves first, so... I'm going to be running some errands and... Doing their dirty work. Level one. Gosh, this is terrifying, dude. All right, looks like we're going this way. Oh, Quartermaster. you're the new scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survive a few days, but <laughs> here, this is for you. By the way, Word around the tower is, you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antizen. By which I mean, the people here don't much like you. But don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. Whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though. And you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also, if you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep you warm at night. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's always important. All right, so uh, Quartermaster items in stock. It says the Quartermaster provides you with free items each day. Make sure to visit him if you run low on supplies. So it looks like he's got us a water pipe, a lock pick, a med kit, and some metal parts. And then also a table leg. <laughs> All right. Hello, sir. Oh wow, look, we have level bars up there now at the top. Looks like weapons and then stamina, maybe? What's up, guys? No entry, use elevators. It's so sunny. Okay, how are we supposed to get... Can we open these doors? Oh no, it's below us. Wait, we gotta use the elevator, though. Where's the elevator at? Oh, elevator's this way. No! Oh, exit this way. What am I doing? Ah, okay. And this guy is G'd up, son. He's got a giant assault rifle. I want that. I don't want a table leg. Going outside, yeah. I am. Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. We've lost too many already. It burns! Okay, noob. You caught Dr. Zera set up in a semi-trailer on a fenced-in plane court. When you leave the tower, hang a left and head due south. You can't miss it. It's Crane, kid. All right, all right. Crane. Just keep moving. There's no time to take in the sights. Holy shit. Try not shit. To too much noise. Sound attracts those fuckers. <laughs> You are out of combat stamina, fall back. What the fudge? You run out of stamina that fast? I'm trying to... I would like to, to kind of, you know, upgrade our guy a little bit and... and... No joke. Now where's our weapon wheel? Okay, so the kick knocks him back. 
So I would assume what you want to do is you just basically want to hit them until you run out of stamina. And then once you run out of stamina, you can kind of kick them back and hold them at bay. In fact, I just... We got some metal parts. Now where's our battle stamina? Is that in the bottom right down there? Is that what's going on? How long does it take that to re... Hmm, it's not really coming back up. The good news is these guys are slow movers. Oh, coming out of the wall. What the hell is going on? Alright, well we started a whole, whole triangle to repair weapon. Now did that take, take the parts that we've been collecting or what? I'm trying to figure this out. I would like to, you know, start off here like I was saying. By leveling up a little bit. We've this group of zombies and we're going to be in a better spot. Alright, so our health is in the top left at 73. We've got two med kits on the back. Nice. Forty-four dollars. Power level up. Skill point acquired. I would imagine that that's going to be pretty useful. Yeah, okay, so we are, you can see down the bottom right when we repair our weapons and stuff, it does use our items. Well, we just had an entire level up. Just like that. What the hell did that zombie have alcohol for? Okay. Well, you like search cars and stuff? No. I guess let's just focus on getting there then, huh? Oh, shit. It's up above us. Can we jump to this? <laughs> nice! Oh, what's up? We're in a safe zone. Hello, sir. Who are you? You have unspent skill points. Okay, how do we do that? Skills. Um, sweet. Survivor. Agility. Or power. Okay, so survivor. The survivor rank gives you access to supporting abilities, blueprints, and gadgets. To increase survivor rank, complete quests, help other survivors, participate in challenges. The higher your rank, the better equipment offered by shops. Okay. The agility tree allows you to outrun opponents. Increase your agility level, perform climbs, jumps, or other free moves, and use skills from the agility tree. Okay. We've got power. Okay, so this is the, where our skill point is in power. Uh, hint, the power tree allows you to face opponents directly. Uh, to increase your power level, engage in combat, kill your enemies creatively, and use skills from the power tree. All right, so we start off with this, with stun. Uh, power level two, learn how to attack with great precision. Or precision. Each strike with a blunt weapon to an enemy's head has a chance to stun. Now, do we already have that equipped? And we can choose different ones. Melee throw, multi-throw, sturdiness. Um, kick stun, stun kill. Okay, that's the only one. Okay, that was the only one available. So now we have stun. So now we hit an enemy in the head, has a chance to stun, and now we can branch off from that. So these are cool. These are kind of like skill trees where you kind of, you know, change your character depending on how you play and, and do your thing. So that's pretty good. All right, now let's head to the dock. I hope those rotting fuckers never figure out how to climb on top of a van.
Doctor? Hello? Anybody there? Camden, are you there? Damn it. Uh, so I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called antizen. Suppresses the symptoms. Here, sit. Antizen postpones the inevitable. Best the GRE could do. Inevitable? So there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now. But you see, I've been running tests on both antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible. Definitely possible. Oh shit, you really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes. I think so. Uh, where did I put that injector? And who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. We've been collaborating via radio, though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit. I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city. Well, you want me to collect them, don't you? Eat them, so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In any case... All right. I'm quite busy, so on your way now. What was I doing? He seems like a good guy. I hope nothing bad happens to him. All right, what's in this box? Nothing. Rahim, Zara checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. That ought to hold you. For a while. Which is good, because I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. So, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zeta's truck. He's got the first real job for you. Okay. Nice. Ooh, we got a survivor skill point. Let's do it. All right, let's open this up. Go to survivor. Uh, looks like we unlocked survivor starter kit. Learn how to craft the most basic things needed for survival. Lock picks, firecrackers, simple throwing stars, and Molotov cocktails. Sweet. Now if we go to blueprints, you guys can see. So for a med kit, we need alcohol and gauze. For lock picks, um, you need one metal part. Got a lock you need opened. Got some hand-eye coordination, a little patience. You are good to go, okay? Uh, firecrackers. Got some zombies that need distracting. Just toss these little babies at them and run right past. God, zombies are dumb. So you need plastic and household supplies for that. Molotovs. Just light and throw. No muss, no fuss. And then throwing stars. Not exactly the kind of thing you would have found in feudal Japan, but hey, beggars can't be choosers, right? Cool. All right. What's up, Spike? Hey Spike, I'm Crane. Just what I need. More unskilled labor. All right, shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One has food, first aid supplies, survival gear and such. The other kind is filled with antizen. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. Look, the trouble is, the airdrops with Antizen keep getting raided by Rise's thugs. And without Antizen, we're basically screwed. Rise and his boys only operate during the day, because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. But the next two Antizen drops are coming down right at sunset tonight, and Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. F What's that? my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now. Which I have. Now, Brecken and his team will be okay tonight, so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. What are these traps, and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. Just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night. And if he doesn't come back with Antizen, we are lost. Okay, long as Before I'm not going there, out at night, I'm cool with that. Made them myself. They make a fine distraction if you get in trouble. Okay. Firecrackers. Hold or tap right or left to change weapon. Weapons and equipment, okay. So we have a table leg, a pipe, and a water pipe. And then equipment, we've got firecrackers and nothing else. Cool. All right, let's go do our first assignment. We'll see you guys next episode.